what's going on everybody welcome to another episode of opinionated roundtable episode seven or eight i'm not too sure i think it's eight maybe i'm not too sure which one this is but it's been a while since we've seen you guys this is like more of an internal pod if you're new here um it's more of a we try to keep it you know on brand with like discussions and stuff you could relate to, but it's also more of our personality. And uh, lots happened recently. Uh, Zach has the green seven. Or sorry, okay, no, yeah, yeah. thank you, seven. thank you, CJ seven. Zach has the green wow. bay, uh, whatever color you want to call green. it. Seafoam. Seafoam green. I like that. Like yeah. that was a better yeah. colorway than bay. Yeah, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Cat just picked bay because it's like what it actually was. I was like, I don't yeah, not for sure. Like, yeah, I, like, yeah. I don't care though. I was like, put seafoam. Yeah. Like, put, put the name. You yeah, know? yeah. Oh, yeah, is it sure. not? It's a, it's it, I bay. call it a seafoam. Drop the seafoam green. So if you guys didn't get that, I mean, like the like the jesters say, jesters, <laughs> jesters, <laughs> jesters. <laughs> don't don't be late. So we'll have some more stuff coming out soon. Uh, I'm working on some hats, uh, do some stuff with the Dreamer Foundation. Uh, we also got uh, more opinionated PCT collabs, uh, stuff cooking up. So we're going to be dropping merch. But thank, I want to thank everybody that supported. I'm actually going to – I'll say the final order number on here, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But I won't say that prize. But, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, But, uh, yeah, I just want to – let me make sure I can, you know, tell everybody their thanks. Cause I know we, I pay attention to who was buying that shit. Yeah, I sent y'all supporters. Links out, so you dig? You know I understand. And if you got the code, you know thirty three total orders. That's pretty. Oh, that's yeah. pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. That's, that's pretty good for, for our first orders. drop. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of that's word of mouth. Uh, a lot of that's you know people supporting us just to jump. And um, we know y'all didn't have to get that. You know, and pay, pay us for that. But it helps us a lot with what we're trying to create and you know create our journey and yeah, you know bring some income in because a lot of this stuff, if not ninety to one hundred percent of it, is all out of pocket. So mm -hmm. we thank y'all for that. Yeah, appreciate it. Real MVP. Yeah. So uh, I guess besides that, the house cleaning items. What's been new with you guys over at PCT? It's been a while on the round table. It has been a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Don't worry. Yeah. 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 Weird. Weird. Well, I I feel like the guy with the big elephant in the room should say good first. Yeah. The, the big ass the, MacBook right here. Sin. Oh, this uh, thing right yeah, here. I don't big old bitch. Can you see it? I don't know. Yeah. If it's in the hey, no, hey, yeah. you know it's funny. Uh, someone got a raise at work, also, and they don't know how to act. Who? Zay? No. Oh, I was like, the new laptop. I went and got a raise. They got a raise like, too. I was like, yeah, I got a raise. Oh, you got a raise too? Yeah. yeah. We both got. Oh, I didn't even. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Later, also. Hey, I'm ordering a MacBook. I'm like, damn. Mm -hmm. hey, nah, I, got yeah. I, I got it because of a different reason. <laughs> Multiple <laughs> reasons, but yeah, I mean, I, my fault. I'm all, I'm trying to make a post right now, but I guess I'll, I'll engage with the conversation. Sorry. Know, right? um, <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's like the major thing for me. I got a new MacBook, which is exciting because I haven't had a MacBook, a new one. Well, even the one I have wasn't new when I got it at the time. I got it in like 2017, and it was the 2015 MacBook Pro. But um, I've been using it ever since, and it's helped us get to where we're at now. And I didn't, at the beginning, you know, I didn't really have money to just spend like that. So I wasn't going to just up and buy a new MacBook f just because, you know. So just worked with what I got. But um, I think it was a cool thing for me because. I think this is um, like me investing into myself, you know, because I know in, in the long run, this can help grow the brand and our business, you know, like having just a good laptop. I could use this for pretty much anything. I think I was telling y'all, like I could stream, I can game on this laptop if I wanted to. Like there, there's a whole bunch of stuff I could do on it, you know, so it's cool being able to like have the ability to do it, you know? Cause that was always a thing holding me back in the sense of like editing, like, oh, it takes forever to do these things. And I, I was telling y'all, I, I edited the, what podcast was it? 
I think it was our recap, our yeah. August recap, and it was like an hour and a half long, and it took 20 minutes to like fully export <laughs> and shit. And to put it in like comparison, it usually was probably taking closer to an hour for my old MacBook. So like basic hour, like or a minute for minute kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. It, it's cool, you know, like I said, um, I mean, I got an Apple card, so that's kind of how I was able to afford it. But so that was another thing. Uh, but yeah, no, just kind of uh, trying to like level up in a sense of like financially, you know, I feel like I'm in a good spot. You know, I'm, I'm doing pretty well about saving and uh, putting money to the side. Now it's like, all right, what what having that credit is like essentially getting leverage, you know, and that's what I didn't have before. So now that I'm slowly starting to build that up and get back to the point where I can do stuff like buy a laptop and yeah, like I'm gonna have to pay a certain amount a month. But at the end of the day, this is like, I'm going to use this every day and I pretty much have, you know, editing and just, just browsing, you know, I said like just being on YouTube, it's nice to have an, like a new tech, you know, like I was super excited yeah. whenever I ordered it and there, I haven't been like that in a while. Cause I haven't really bought anything for myself like that besides like clothes and like little art pieces and stuff. But this yeah. is like a, a big purchase for me. So, yeah, no, I was, I was really proud of myself and, you know, like kind of did it all on my own, you know, like I didn't ask for help. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't really like to ask people for help, to be honest. That's like my uh, I guess like my one of my things, you know, like I need to work on a little bit more. But uh, no, I, I just it was it was dope being able to do that, like for myself and also you know, we, we have that other MacBook now for whoever needs to edit, you know, like I want that to be like our business laptop in a sense, you know, so just trying to do stuff like that, you know, but um, besides that, just been grinding at work, you know, just like Zay, we were saying earlier, you got to raise, so I actually became a specialist now, so I'm going to pay a little bit more, oh, yeah. Yeah. but um, sure. yeah, yeah, so just, I don't know, like Cam, we talked about it, bro, yeah. like we, we're at the point right now where we're young enough to where we can invest a lot into our business and growing it. But at the same time, we're also, we, we're at a job that we have to prioritize because that's what's bringing in the money, you know? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Like I'm at a good spot in my job. Like I have job security. I've been there for a while. I'm starting to work my way up, but I know at the end of the day, like that's not really what I want to do. And I'm just using it to help me get to where I want to be. So I just kind of, kind of had like a fire up on like my, underneath my ass, you know, just to like, like I, I want to do this shit, but you know, just kind of taking it day by day yeah. as well. Like not getting yeah. too far ahead of myself because we still do have a lot, a lot of work to do, but mm -hmm. at the same time, I know that, you know, what we have going on is, it, it, it is special, you know, so mm -hmm. just kind of going with the flow as well, mm -hmm. been trying to appreciate, like, every day, like, whenever we, we us hang out and just being able to do the stuff that we do, because um, I think it became, it's, it was becoming so routine for us, where I think we didn't really appreciate what we were doing, mm -hmm. you know, no, like no the doubt. type of content yeah. we're doing, like this is going to last forever. Like we're going to look back at this when we're old and we have kids and, yeah, you know, stuff like that, like yeah, sentimental no shit, lie. you know, like it's going to be super dope. So, yeah, but no, yeah, that's, that's been what's going on with me. How y'all been? Shit. Uh, well, I guess to like piggyback off for you, um, like how you felt with your big purchase. That's kind of how I felt with my camera. Just mm -hmm. that investment into like yourself. It's mm -hmm. just one of those things where it's like, yeah, dude, I, I'm here to do this and I'm trying to get that in the long run. And if talking about work, I just applied for our management program and Congrats. I'm going go. to, uh, I have an interview in like three weeks. And so we'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah. No yeah. pressure on that, but make sure like you don't, take it for granted because I'll kind of get to that in a second but anyways I took it for granted and it didn't go the way I thought so yeah. yeah my only like the only reason I'm more of like I'm like nervous for it but I'm also not nervous for it mm -hmm. because my manager she tells me every day you can you're gonna get it like they're not gonna not let you in she's like you know how to do the job you know how to talk to people mm -hmm. you you have that charm <laughs> that and uh, I think she's gonna report to HR for saying yeah. that. Uh, no, no. <laughs> yeah, um, HR. But it's just one of those things where she knows that I can do the job, and that if they do pass on me, there's there's something going on. 
wrong elsewhere, which I don't know would be what. But yeah, so I applied for that. I'm excited, a little nervous, but I think it's something I can achieve in my mind. Yeah, like I got yeah, it. You got it. It's just ready to actually now, the way I look at it, it's like, oh, now you're going to prove to yourself you really can do the job. Like I know I can do the job because I've been in situations where I've had to run the department basically mm -hmm. from the shadows. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, it, it went fine. We did a very successful month. So on that, let me let me ask you this then. I was like, are you prepared, like personally, like to move on from Jan? Because I know. Oh. I was, I was like, because yeah. I know, like obviously we we worked we've worked with other That's managers a good question, before, honestly. but like you know, you kind of got like used to like the way Jan does things. You kind of got used to like your departments like that for what? How long was it? Two or three years that been at Huddle like so far? We've been there what three, four years? Like three well, I mean, years like, in yeah. a row. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's wow. been it's years. been like three, yeah, three, four, four years. years. Okay. Yeah. When COVID, like yeah. COVID, like beginning yeah. of COVID, yeah. right when COVID happened. But yeah, yeah no, uh, honestly, yeah, it's one of those things where that never was like, a, oh, I'm I'm staying because I don't want to leave her. It's yeah. more of like, nah, I'm just I'm staying because I know I'm not making enough mm -hmm. money. I know yeah. there are people out there and they're getting screwed over mm -hmm. and they're barely making like. Twenty dollars in their manager. Yeah, I'm like fuck that. You're yeah. not about to get me. And so <laughs> the way I look at it is, until you give me every last penny until I'm maxed out, mm -hmm. I'm not going. And I'm basically maxed out. Which like after going into storm, they'll max me out. And then on top of that, it'll Damn. be whatever I get for going into management. Mm -hmm. And so Plus bonus. Yeah, exactly. And so like the way she's talked to me about it, ideally I'll be going in making as much as a second should be starting at us. But I would only be like, uh, Barely, ADM. Yeah. Hmm. So uh, would you be? Weird. Would you be still hourly, or would you? Uh, I would still be hourly. Okay. Hourly? Yeah, I'd still yeah. be hourly. You don't become salary until you're, you're the main, right? Yeah, um, you can be a second salary. I think I don't know exactly. But I know you for big, a primary though. for sure. It depends on how big your store is. I assume. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's like, cool. Yeah, it's a challenge that oh, yeah. I'm Probably ready all. to tackle and yeah. do all that. I hope it doesn't take away too much time from this. I was just that about is my, to ask you that. Yeah, that's my only thing, just because I know it's really going to, like you said, we have a, we're doing stuff here, but we also have a full-time job that we have to worry about. Yeah. And I look at it the way how he does, except I've just moved on more into the company mm -hmm. but this is just i'm using hb as a stepping stone yeah at some point i'm like in my head i'm like oh i'm done like op yeah. op's already paying the checks we got it yeah like they can cover everything or i'm picking enough gigs up plus that yeah. Yeah. we're doing what we want to do full time yeah and it's also that stepping stool that i can use to help fight like you know financial wise mm -hmm. to help provide for this because mm -hmm. like y'all said a lot of this stuff is out of the pocket our mm -hmm. merch that we you know Shit, every, bro, yeah every, everything <laughs> yeah yeah all this even equipment. like even us getting the merch like we're still like probably realistically won't profit a whole lot because we yeah. got to pay yeah. to get yeah. it made yes exactly you know what i mean it's a yeah because we haven't built up enough capital yet. It sucks. Yeah, yeah but wait, once we do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Re reinvested and stuff. Yeah, no. But sure. yeah, fair. it's just one of those things where I hope it doesn't take away too much. It's just a balance that I'm going to have to learn to adjust because it's definitely going to be some adjusting to it. I'll be like at a whole new spot. They could send me mm -hmm. with like an hour away if they wanted to. So, yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, if I drive. Yeah. And like, I'm a, like, on paperwork, it's single because I'm not married or whatever, but I have no kids, so they're like, oh, bet. Can I tell us like, go anywhere. No, yeah. I'm not single, by the way. Yeah, but, you know, but, yeah. like, legally. The way they, yeah, the legally. way they look at it, they're like, yeah. oh, yeah, this dude has, like, no attachments besides, like, his girlfriend, and that's it. And, like, other than that, you know, like, we can send him an hour away, and he'll be mm -hmm. fine with that. Which yeah. I'm like, I wouldn't be fine. So if you do get, like, moved somewhere, like, it's an hour away, would you be, like, moving, like, like getting an apartment over like closer to there. I mean, yeah, ideally uh -huh. at some point, but like I'm somewhere meeting. near Austin to where it's close enough to be able to meet wherever we're all gonna meet after mm -hmm. December. Yeah, and still, you know, close enough to family and all that. Where, where, yeah. where they send you like down south, probably. Yeah, they could. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, which isn't bad. Yeah. That's not bad. I'm okay, okay with the commute. Yeah. Right now, it's only like ten minutes to get to work, which, in my opinion, is bad. Because at that point in my mind, I'm, I'm like, I'm down the road. I'll just show up whenever yeah. I get. That is a fact. Not but, facts. But 
well, yeah, whenever it's like farther, I'm just like, oh, I got to make the time. For sure. That's right. Yeah. And then I guess the other thing that's big in my life that's going outside is I'm going to be another uncle or uncle again for my sister. Mm-hmm. She is having another kid. Uh, we're doing a gender reveal this Saturday. Oh, yeah. And so this will be the fourth, her fourth Dang, child. Okay. Yeah. Um, we have three girls already, so I'm hoping for a boy. Yeah. I'm glad you. Yeah. And God, that kid's going to be a badass kid. I can already tell. <laughs> I mean, I just feel it. Only boy, four, like oh, three yeah. girls older than him, they're going to bully his ass. Yeah. 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 I feel it for them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Without, without you, Zach. Um, yeah, and was nothing really lately um, I can think of. Um, I don't know. It was like him talking about Storm kind of was funny because it brought up like a memory for me. And it's like one thing I've been kind of thinking about lately is like everything happens for a reason. Um, you may not know what that reason is, but everything does happen for a reason. Because, um, for example, I did the summer internship for HEB. Um, and basically after you dump that, then basically you're kind of on the path of like going to the management program. Mm-hmm. Um and because you did the summer thing, then basically you need to move automatically to the second round. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to go to first round interviews. You I might go to second round. Um, so during the time, I was, I was, uh, I was like, oh, this is gonna be easy. I got in the bags like that, like no mm-hmm. big deal. And I like really like didn't care in the world. So I think I did a little bit better in the fact that like I wasn't nervous, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it was just like. I didn't care at all. I was like, oh, I got this. Like, I was cocky. I was like, oh, I got this. No big deal. Yeah, you were young, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well... So that does play a factor in your uh, stuff. That yeah. Was like, like, you're two, just... Your emotional, ago, like, three intelligence. Three years ago? I think I was 23. Yeah, like, yeah. your emotional m- intelligence and, like, yeah. stuff you've been through in life, knowing how to handle situations. Like, yeah. It's yeah. A, um, he was 23. Oh. <laughs> not the year. Oh. Yeah, okay. the age. <laughs> um, but it, it made it even worse though because I get to the interview and it was actually one of the guys that originally hired me. So I'm like, oh, this is this is cake. Like I'm getting this. Like I can literally kick my feet up. I'm good. Um, and then all of a sudden I got the news back and I was like, oh, we are not moving forward with you. Damn. And I was like, wait, what? Like I had to reread that email because I was like, there's no way. Like this guy hired me. I'm like, there's no way. Um, so that was kind of a humbling uh, thing. And kind of going back to the point of basically everything happens for a reason is that uh, after that happened, I was a little bummed out about that. Mm-hmm. But literally, it was a month later that um, my transmission in my car was messing up. I was driving to Houston to go get it fixed. Literally couldn't pull over because if I pulled over, that car like was done. So I had to drive to Houston in one year. Um, and I got a phone call on the way over there. And basically, it was um, uh, for IT position out of college. So I didn't graduate yet. So mm-hmm. well, going back to my point of everything happens for a reason. I, like I had no idea. I was bumped out about not getting the, the position, mm-hmm. but everything happens for a reason. No, no, for sure. Um, yeah. And then basically going back to what you said earlier uh, about um, kind of being appreciative of like where you are and it's like that. Um, there's been kind of layoffs that works like that. So mm. kind of been nervous about that. So I was, I've been looking around and I've been kind of like, well, man, like I could be getting paid like five times what I'm making now, all this other stuff. So I've been kind of in that mood. But at the same time, I thought about the other day, I was like, man, I'm very young in my like career. So it's like, you know, I shouldn't be going. Don't try ahead. to like chase the dollar. Yeah, exactly. Not like right away unless yeah. you need to financially. Yeah. On top of that, I was like, I, I just don't have the experience to get to that level yet. Yeah. So it's like, there's no point in me stressing out, like, you know, being upset. I was like, oh, well, I can make an X amount of dollars. Yeah. Because once you make that money too, the expectations are exceeded. Yeah. And like, if you're not prepared for that, then yep. you can just get get opportunity and then lose it. And now you lost. Now you're back to square one looking yep. for a job or yep. you might, mm-hmm. you know. All that stuff factors in in life, so it's definitely like understanding what you can handle, and then taking the most, making the most of your opportunities. Because like like CJ was saying, we're trying to you know grow this business mm-hmm. and grow the brand, but at the same time, like for example, same thing with me. Like my thing clothes been picking up, and I'm getting like more enrolled in like a senior role because mm-hmm. like our controller is about to probably become the CFO in like two years. And oh, wow. Me and the, it's like we already have a senior accountant. He'll probably roll into like controller ish role i'll roll into the senior and then like depending on once i get my cpa like nice. controller role so like learn like being like the controller of a whole company is like crazy like you basically manage all the accounts and finance people that's and, crazy like, so just being able to like get into that role and like trying to learn from those steps and also the good thing about like what i'm learning at my job is it's helping me so much with like business structure like when carlos was talking about the sales and stuff i was like all right whenever like we close the shop like 
let me know because I'm going to download like all the reports and like make spreadsheets and stuff just to keep things organized and track shit. Be like, oh, this sold this amount. Why? Kind of look into it. Facts. Do more of like the Analytical. stuff that's going to grow yeah. the business because it's like we could look at we could look at. Damn, we sold the most. I think the highest selling item was the cream shirt. Yeah, and it's no. like we can look at that and it's like, all right, we just going to keep releasing cream shirts. But it's For like, okay, sure. why was this the most? Then you can even look up like can, this color is so like people yeah. probably feel the most confident wearing that color. Yeah, whatever. So just trying true. to just like do stuff to grow the brand, expand the brand, like lo- knowing what dollars go where, like, all right, we have money to get something. Let's look at on our list of stuff that could help the business. All right. Does this make sense? That might be kind of just like a impulsive buy. Let's look mm-hmm. at something that make more sense and like have our dollar go somewhere yeah. longer. So Facts. yeah. And I mean, everything's been good though. Just been trying to, you know, grind with y'all. It's been fun. And like CJ said, just appreciating it, trying to get back to our roots. Like, uh, we had uh, this guy named Stephen Q on on Friday, oh, yeah, and uh, cool. he saw in the flag, and uh, we were just kind of—he was a pretty cool, dude—and we just chopped up, chopped it up with him for like almost another hour after we finished. Damn. And uh, he was just like, we were just talking about stuff, and he was a super. It was just—it's always cool when you get a guest on, and they're just like super, super appreciative of you, and you're like, damn, bro, like we're just shooting this in our apartment, like yeah, we have good good cameras and lights and stuff. But, like we're shooting in our apartment, like. The fact that you think what we're doing is dope yeah. and like not like corny or some lame shit, mm-hmm. and then you're coming to sign this flag, and then the people that have signed the flag of all are doing cool stuff, and then yeah, to kind of look back at it and reflect at it, and you're like, damn, we're meeting all these people, and like, who would have thought, right? So it's yeah, like, and like kind of getting taken back because you can be on autopilot so much, just yeah, trying yeah, to like yeah. get to the goal, but also knowing how to like stay focused and achieve like what's achievable. Well, one little thing, like goal that I saw the other day that kind of blew my mind. I sent to the PCT boys, mm-hmm. but I got on my Beautiful Mind Isaiah account mm-hmm. on IG and oh. it said it had uh, your account has reached 2.3K uh, other accounts in the past 30 days. And Facts. I like just for like alone it being like that, like my little photography account, I was like, oh shit, that's kind of cool. That like, cool. yeah, like the, the little, little account mile, dashboard. Yeah, yeah I made yeah. my personal like that. Like I just I changed it to like digital the creator. business one and all. Yeah, because I'm like it's already public. Like, fuck it, why not? Like, yeah. And I'm at the point too. I think in this last year of like being 26, I've like just matured a lot, bro. Like little yeah, shit. Little I would say sh- yeah. yeah like little sure. shit. Like just like, just like oh, I don't want to post this because like, I feel like I'm gonna be like judged or yeah. like just, I just don't care like at all. Like I was talking to one of my friends and she was like. Yeah, like I, I still check to like see who looks at my stories, and I'm like, why? I'm like, I was like, one, I'm just too busy. I'm not gonna go look through all these people, and the two, it's just like, bro, I'm just posting that shit to post it. So like, and I want to post it, so I don't give a fuck who's looking at it. It could be somebody that's being nosy, like, I don't care really. I appreciate you, know? you, yeah. So so like I don't know, just like little stuff like that, and just yeah. like trying to be like more cognizant of my time. Like I don't want to just waste my time anymore, and like just do shit for no reason. So just trying to grow up a little bit and like take care of stuff financially and you know see like when you see your friends doing well and people like in your in the same like realm as you doing well it's like you want to be up there with them you want to be like you know among your peers you don't want to be kind of just like falling by the wayside so and i'm just competitive so i just wanted to like keep us there and that, keep grinding and get us closer to our dreams so <laughs> that boomer yeah so it's like colorado yeah and opinionated media listeners if you want to make a podcast spotify's got a platform that lets you make one super easily and then you can distribute it everywhere and even earn money all in one place for free it's called spotify for podcasters and here's how it works spotify for podcasters lets you record and edit episodes right from your phone or computer so no matter what your setup is like you can start creating today then you can distribute your podcast to spotify and everywhere else podcasts are heard or listened to video podcasts are also now available with spotify for podcasters you can earn money in a variety of ways including ads and podcast subscriptions and best of all it's totally free with no catch for us ever since we discovered spotify for podcasters has made our life so easy being able to just upload all of our audio video to the platform and then have it distributed everywhere and it can get the job done simultaneously for us we've never had any issues with them we actually been using them since the og days of anchor so shout out to spotify for podcasters now on to the rest of the episode but yeah uh so that's a little life update i know it was probably if you sat through it thank you you're real one <laughs> we appreciate it. Our love little, you here in our yeah. soapbox. box but uh we got a, a round table um we kind of are just gonna freestyle it to catch up but we obviously got the you know usual usual topics so i guess we'll start with the 
fantasy football draft. We have a f- fantasy football draft. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Um, to start yesterday, off with. and uh, I tried to. We tried to do it last year, but it was kind of like mm-hmm. just. I think we for, a lot of people. Forgot. A lot of people forgot. We had yeah, one yeah. person yeah. quit. Yeah. Oh yeah, we, I'll, be, I'll bring up the. Hey, don't make him upset. Okay? Yeah, don't make him upset. Like, I'll bring up the. Yeah. The monsters and but, shit. Should we bring up like should we talk about basically who we drafted and like that? Yeah, everyone at the table at least go through their teams. Oh, yeah, I feel yeah. like that's good. Jeez. Yeah. Um, you want me to start off? Yeah, you can go. Uh, I got loaded up. What's your team name? Let's start with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's, my that team, team name is, fire, is like. NFL Young Boy. That shit is fire. <laughs> um, so my. So I'm not going to go by who I drafted first. I'm just going to go by, like, just my lineup. Um, so I have Josh Allen as QB1, uh, James Conner at QB – or my bad, running back one, uh, Samaje Perrine at number two, um, A.J. Brown, DeAndre Hopkins, Travis Kelsey, uh, Chris Godwin, and to see the Packers defense uh, and Jake Elliott as my kicker. Uh, on the bench, I have Deshaun Watson – <laughs> uh, Jerry du- Judy. Um, I do not know how to pronounce this guy's Who? last name. Brandon, Brandon Ayuk. Yeah, Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> David Montgomery and let's see, AJ Dillon, uh, Sky Moore, um, and Ron- Rondell, Rondell Moore. Rondell Moore. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah, it's a solid, solid draft. Saw a draft. You Did they? It? I thought they uh, give you a grade afterwards. Is that not a thing anymore? They, they used to. They used to, but I, did, yeah. I just all they have is a projection shit. That shit's weak. And like, I, like I was telling y'all, I'm pretty sure it's based off of like. Yeah, because I think JG got are. the highest one. He was on auto pick. Yeah. So yeah. you know, just, yeah. There you just go. Just to put that in perspective. Yeah. <laughs> not saying that JG wasn't wouldn't draft well, but yeah, yeah. Just saying. Yeah, it's like the best available. is how they give you your grade. Yeah. Yeah. What's your cam? Uh, what's your team cam? My team, I have Trevor Lawrence at QB, Nick Chubb, running back one, J- uh, Jameer Gibbs, running back two, Tyreek Hill, wide receiver one, Calvin Ridley, wide receiver two, TJ Hawkinson, t- starting tight end, Mike Williams as my flex as of now. Um, Facts. Saints defense, and then Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline, Jets kicker, uh, Drake London on the bench, Josh, jo- uh, J.K. Dobbins on the bench, Geno Smith. Uh, Zay Flowers, Gabe That's Davis, Dalton Schultz is my backup tight end, and then I have Zeke. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah feed him. Zeke. Yeah. Nice. Pats. What's your team Pats. name? The Pats. My my team name's Cam Juice. Cam Juice. Yeah. How many drafts are you in? Um, this is my third, but like I'm only playing. No, this is my. I'm only in two drafts league oh. this year because Moneyball, which is like my OG, like from high school. Draft, we didn't set it up, so Dang. we sold the commissioner. Yeah, and we play wow. for money in there, so like yeah. that. What's th- like money? Like we're playing for money in this, but this is more so. I wanted us to do something yeah. like group wise, and it's kind of man. Shout out Albert and Carlos enjoying, but yeah. everyone else, everyone else, shout joined. out y'all. Cayman's in even in it. Yeah, so yeah, but uh, I, w- I wanted to do something like this, and I'm glad that everyone's doing it. So. I think I have a good chance, but we'll just have to see. You know how fantasy is. Bro, next fans, year, bro. we're doing a party. Yeah, for sure. Like with a board party. and well, everything. Yeah. By that, hopefully, hopefully yeah. next year, the we're, studio. we're in the studio. That'll be fire. Yes. So that'll be facts. Yeah. Facts. Okay. Well, okay. I'm going to start off with my name. It's the Crafts Family Lawyer. <laughs> my starting quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. Uh, I have running back one is, God dang, Raham Ramondre. Ramondre Stevenson. That's a that's a sooner. That's a name. That's a sooner for real. Mm-hmm. Hey hell yeah, he's about to be trip. Give me twenty four points. Hopefully more. Said E and A. Damon Pierce is running back two. Justin Jefferson, mm. Cooper Gup, um, mm. Dallas Godert. Goddard. Uh, Goddard. Mm-hmm. Who the hell's that? Uh, tight, end. tight end for Philly. Uh, Amon's Amon Raw St. Brown. Yeah. Brown. Yeah. You got all the motherfuckers are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy <laughs> as they Damn, you have a good team. You have a pretty good team. Yeah. Um, the Jets defense. Jason Myers. Uh who's that? B Hall. Brees. Brees Hall as my backup. Alvin Kamara as a backup. Brandon Dang. Cooks as a backup. Michael Thomas as a backup. Um, yeah, Cole, Cole trade. Met, Cole Kemet or something for Cole the Kemet. Bears. Yeah, uh, tight end Jimmy G as my backup QB and Rashad Penny. 
Yeah, your team's solid. Yeah, that's yeah. A funny yeah. Team. Appreciate it. I might have to check out like, Cup this I feel like that's though. a really good all-around team. Yeah. 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 Might have to trade you some. And then I do no. Uh I do I am doing another draft and I'll just say my name for that one. Unless y'all want to hear my roster for that too. Not really. But no yeah, worries. that one is uh <laughs> my name for that is A Rod's plug. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> like You're so name. funny, dude. I like yeah. the name. <laughs> uh so my team is called Two Pump Chump. Mm. And um uh, <laughs> <laughs> My starting QB is Kirk Cousins. That was the one I was like, ah. But, I mean, he, he puts up numbers, so yeah. I wasn't tripping. Oh, it's consistent. RB1 is McCaffrey. RB2 is Josh Jacobs. Mm. Uh, wide receiver 1 is uh, Chris Olave. Mm. Wide receiver 2 is Keenan Allen. And then tight end was the one that I, I probably didn't do that well in this draft. I got Kittle, and I didn't draft a backup. I'm just not realizing. So... That sucks. Yeah, that uh, flex is uh, Mari Cooper as of now. Defense is the Eagles, my kickers, Graham Gano. And on my bench, I have Terry McLaurin, Jonathan Taylor, Jackson Smith, and Jigba, Juju Smith Schuster, Bryce Young, Marvin Mims, and Deuce Vaughn. Nice. I, you got Deuce Vaughn late. Did I you? Yeah, that's my last pick. When did you? I think I drafted him like Terry, right? right after you had said that, to be yeah, honest. He's questionable or before too. you yeah, said that. He is. Yeah, because they that. said that he's like basically like borderline almost gonna have like an exploded knee. So who? Uh, who? Juju. Oh. That's what, what they were saying. Bro, yeah, CJ's team has the injury bug. Because they yeah. said they just said Terry McLaurin. Terry, Terry McLaurin. Terry McLaurin. Question. And Smith and he has turf toe. George, oh, George Kittle. Wow. George yeah. Kittle. Yeah. Kittle. Yeah. Turf toe. It's like basically when you stub your toe like oh. over and over again, or like your toes is very sore, like oh. your big toe, and you walk and it's just like you know, like oh. it's super dumb. sensitive. You can't really do yeah. shit on it. It's a DB yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. Adrian Peterson had turf toe, Oklahoma. But yeah, no, it's really just Kittle where I'm like, damn, should draft another tight end, but yeah, it's all good. Pictures. After like you know, really looking at my team because this is the first time I'm like really looking at it. Yeah, y'all are right. I do got a pretty yeah, well pretty good squad. Team. Yeah, yeah. I saw, you, that's why when I saw good. the projection that y'all sent or whoever uh -huh. sent it, where it said I was like third or second, I was like, oh shit, what the hell? I was like, let me have to. I'm about to look at my team. Or so we're gonna do some trades. Then. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh no no no! It's not a, it's not a question. It, it, it's a statement. We can do some trades. Oh no, no. shit! Oh, wow. Ask commissioner's league. Oh oh whoa. Wow. This, this dude, guy here, this dude, you finna, you finna force him to trade. <laughs> yeah. Force, tra force no, trade. I'm not, I'm not I tell you right now, if I see any scandalous activ activity, I'm vetoing the fuck out of that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Bro, if I see some like bag of chips for like. <laughs> you know, like a steak type trades. I'm vetoing, um, vetoing that shit, bro. I, that, we can't let that shit fly. We can't let people in there uh, cheating. I look, that's how I felt about the guy in my other league. He uh -huh. tried to trade. Uh, he wants Garrett Wilson, but he, let me see. I'll have to look up what he is asking for. Oh. Yeah, cause I think last year, um, one. One of the teams like didn't get drafted, so basically, yeah, said, everyone was. Just, I started gutting it and le I left it to whoever, like, well, like it was open. Was it like on the free agency? Yeah, and yeah. I was like, yeah, because my thing was, I'm like, I didn't want to go draft, and people were like, oh. well, Drake picked that team up, I think, because he came in like yeah, he did, the league, yeah, and like he started doing okay, yeah, because uh, the league was so small, like everyone yeah. was, yeah, it was like eight, I think, yeah, yeah. yeah the, he wants Garrett Wilson, f and he would give me Calvin Ridley and Jamal Williams. That's not a bad trade, but it's like. Garrett's probably is going to be a wide receiver yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, he's my first pick. And he's talking about Aaron Rodgers, and like Garrett's yeah. going to just. Get, I think he's going to be like. I'm talking about like I think Aaron Rodgers is going to be like, oh, the corner's playing ten yards off. I'm going to just option and throw the ball to you, kind of how like Devonte Adams was, like just yeah. getting the ball a lot. So I definitely wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Calvin really, you can find someone that can match his production. Now I'm hoping he goes stupid. That's why he's not wide receiver two, but like, yeah, still, I don't know. Um, no, I think I'm excited to do fantasy. Like, should, oh, yeah. should, I, should, I feel like we should do like a like a little trophy or some shit. We should get something made. Yeah, and like like even if it's like to a make it like we can like engrave every it. year. Yeah, every just, year we should do something like that. I still want to do like a punishment for like the last phase. Last we place. should. Yeah. We definitely should. I'm down. I, I talked about it and I was like, no one really said too much about that. Yeah, so I'm shit. We barely got one to join. That's true. We dress up as a hot dog and you put a bunch of hot dogs around your waist and then you have to run to a dog park. <laughs> One through? Yeah, run There's through a dog park. No, man, I'd hit that shit at like six if I was in last. Nobody's <laughs> out there. We're putting like the big hot dogs on you. That's such a waste of food. It, no, it's not. It's for the dogs. No, we have to do the, you have to stay 12 hours at a diner. 
<laughs> 12 hours is a long time, bro. It is. I'm not going to lie. I probably wouldn't do there, that. There's one that... Uh, <laughs> you have to, like, eat, a, like, however many pancakes you eat. It's a, well, yeah, it's, like, basically, uh, if you drink a beer, like, you get 30 minutes off of it. Uh, but they bro, were that's, there, that's extreme. It, they had to be in there for 24 hours. <laughs> oh, I know. Damn. Damn. I mean, 24 Hell hours. No. And basically, I think it was at Waffle, Waffle House. Yeah, it was. And basically, that guy started drinking a whole bunch of beers and ended up getting kicked out, so they had to go to another one. I was like... Bro, I would have got... I'm not going to lie to you. I would have got a, a smooth 12 hours to come on shit. And not right now, you wouldn't have. 20. <laughs> Trust me. You think this shit... Are you going to break your Sunday five day hard? That's or you want to have less that's time? Just, that's just going to hit me, and then I'm going to be like, oh, activated. Like, activated. Like, 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 I, like I broke the spell. Man. You know, you're going to feel be, your Titan powers come back. Hey, you, your tolerance about to be here. As soon as you get done with that, you can drink like one beer. Like, damn, this shit got me fucked. Nah, he's going to be there. He's going to bite his hand. You know, you know. <laughs> Hey, facts though. Yeah, facts though. Um, <laughs> I'm dead. All right, so I I was just thinking of stuff, and I was like walking the other day with Cat. We're doing 75 hard, and I, we walked past somewhere in the domain. We've been walking the domain lately, and bro, this bacon was fuck that shit. Is bacon, bro? Like just the smell of bacon. Oh. Like I was like, damn. Like That's I was. Party I told Cat. I was. I told Cat. I, was I like, need that, it. That might what be the that? best smell of all time. Like. You, I can't even yeah. lie to you. Like, I can top that. Like that. Like that, was, like that yeah, shit that was is, a good one. I can top that. But so what are so what are some of y'all's cookies. best smells? Fresh, fresh baked cookies. Mm, like a certain brand cookies. or what? Just like chocolate chip cookies. I won't like, lie. So because I work so one. early in the morning, the bakery is always baking all their stuff, cinnamon like rolls. their cinnamon rolls or their cookies donuts in the morning. Their donuts. Yeah. I'll be walking in there. And it's just the smell of a good bakery yeah like mm. you walk in and you're like fuck that's a good point bro. it's about to go crazy on this bread or like some fresh cookies or some shit like that i'm trying to think of like some other stuff like like the smell of gas that's just i don't know that shit kind of i like a, the a, smell of ass yeah sorry you oh. don't smell anything besides uh short circuit double a batteries <laughs> yeah double a and shit like that you know <laughs> smell of gas i don't know i like the smell of uh uh, what's it called? A, a new shoe. Mm, that new sneaker. That's top tier. Oh, yeah, new sneakers. Smell of like mm. a new electronics. Like when you peel it off, like fresh out of the box. Like, mm, God, it's oh, nice that's yeah. like that. Yeah. That, yeah. You that ju- when you build your that's PC, like a, you very, just did that recently. Yeah, Didn't just you just build a PC yeah. with your cousin? Yeah. yeah, that's like the very unique oh. smell. Okay, quick side note. Oh, not God. gonna take it long. You're good. But my my cousin, I texted her. I was like, so how's like his like his PC coming along? She texts me back, literally saying, "Oh, we had to take that away from him." I'm like, "Why?" <laughs> He's watching porn. No, on no, no, no. It gets worse than that. She goes, um, "Let's see." Wait, oh, so you built? She's. I built. Yeah, I built a the PC. PC for your cousin's like child or yeah. for your cousin. Yeah, my cousin's child. Okay. So of. he's like, I think he's like twelve or thirteen. Um, so, anyways, I text her. I was like, "Hey, how's his computer? How's he liking his computer so far?" She texts me back. And I'm not, this is literally word for word. The FBI visited because apparently he was searching up how to make a pipe bomb and they became alarmed because what? He, was on, he was also looking up school shooting gone wrong. She texts me this as I'm like literally walking the trail. And I'm Bro, like, so going like, yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what my face. the fuck? Exactly. I was like, <laughs> uh, what? And I literally texted back. I was like, you're joking. She goes, needless to say, they confiscated it. And I'm like, my cousin has to be joking. So I was like, dang, did you at least ask for a refund back? And, um, she what goes, they the said fuck, that they would turn in a few weeks, but it's not like, uh, we'll need it now, uh, blah, blah, blah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. Are so you he, serious? Are you serious? So, what right, the hold fuck? on, hold on. <laughs> well, let, let me finish this the story. This dude just, how this guy, this guy said, hey, sidebar, it's going to be so real casually, quick. casually, like, you just going to say this shit, like, yeah, think, like I, we're I not going to want to dig into this. Okay, like, that was like, crazy. Like, like, it's not, okay, lie. the thing is, I'm saying it's quick because I know, like, what the, it's a joke. Like, she wasn't serious. So I, I called oh, her up after this. Oh, she got your ass. Yeah, I called oh. her up immediately. I was like, God. my thing is, I couldn't like say what was going on openly because I'm literally walking like through a lake like right now. So I'm like, I don't want to be like, hey, yeah, he was looking up da 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 like in front of people and there's like, uh, beg your pardon? Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> anyways, I, I call her up like that. We're talking. She starts laughing. She's like, nah, I got you. She's like, yeah, he's sitting right next to you right now. Like you're on speakerphone. <laughs> I was like, oh wow. Because I was like, I was like. Our family, like, no joke is basically off limits, pretty much. So, obviously, that was a good example of that. Um, but 
I was like, you know what? I was 95% sure she was joking, but I was like, you know what? There's like 5%. Yeah, exactly. I was like, I was like, hey, like, I was like, I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Like, I was like, I don't know what to do. I thought he was just going to look up porn or something. (laughs) Normal 12 year old. Normal 12 year old. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, but okay. yeah, that was, that was very interesting. So back to smell. Yeah, back to smell. <laughs> no, yeah. like cool. No, like I was. Smells of new electronics. Yeah. Um, tires. Y'all, y'all already took like all the the good ones. Honestly, I, I like the smell of a brand new tire. Dude, Dude like, that's that's, that's good. Discount tire yeah. PTSD a little bit. Yeah, that guy's a. Or like head. when if you go to Costco's when you're leaving, you go buy their tire section every time. Sm- so. Smell of a uh, cut grass is good Ooh. too. A yeah. like uh, garlic butter like fajitas. That's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. that's, all that's like very very, right very specific. Well, from where? That's good though. I don't know. I was like, I couldn't think of, but I was like, I know one restaurant I've been to recently. Like all of a sudden they walked by with it. And I was like, Damn. or like a fire yeah. outside. This one, uh, like this one in might a, be in a, Texan in, a in me, but I love the smell of a good barbecue pit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's oh, true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Good brisket. Facts, good, good brisket. brisket. Yeah. That was yeah. 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 Applewood brisket. You just know like. Yeah, I'm about to fuck this up. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. You know what smell I like the smell of? products, too. Money. Weed. Hey, yeah. that pressure. Uh, uh, allegedly. 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 Uh, allegedly. When, we're, when we're in California and shit. Yeah, so that Bruce Lee Wayne. Yeah. 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 Bro, I mean, I was turning his head quick when I said Bruce Lee Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Broke his neck. The, yeah, rain? the cellar the rain. Of rain. Wow, from the audience, Alex Lay. From the audience. Rain. Oh, but yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. So I guess we have whatever you want to talk about. We just get flow around. So how do you feel about Dion showing the world? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, he, he is uh, that guy. Man, like like he said, we we coming. You know, like yeah. Hey yo, hey, hey, yo. yo. <laughs> what do you mean hey, by that, yo. Your Grace? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What's going on? Hey hey, is this dope to see? Like this is Dion Sanders. Like prime Everyone time. Everyone knows baby. who Dion Sanders is. He's besides like Odell. He's probably like the most like famous person from football because most of the time football is like about the shield like about yeah. the team and like the brand of the league and yeah. it's not like the nba where it's like player centric like yeah. individualized that's lebron james yeah it's yeah, not yeah, that's yeah. the lake they're wearing a the helmet so you yeah. can't exactly really see their you're face like you're stuff. like i'm a fan of the cowboys yeah you know yeah, i'm a fan of the yeah. steelers you're not talking about like you know these random people so the fact that dion is the greatest corner ever arguably the greatest athlete <laughs> ever played for the braves as well and like actually played um, and Not then one, like of, and he played for like really historic. Like he played, for, he got drafted to the Braves or Braves, got drafted to the um, Falcons, True. and then he went to the Cowboys Them boys. and won a Super Bowl there. And then no, he went to the 49ers first, won a Super Bowl there, and then he went to the Cowboy Cowboys and won two there. Wow! So it's like he went to two historic, and this is like in their prime. Like he played with Troy wow. Aikman. And, uh, Jerry Rice, Legend. Joe Montana, like Legends. Emmitt Smith. Legend. So he played with all these Legends. guys. But he's like the one that's still like notable. Out, yeah, you he know? outshined that. And then the fact that like he went to the he went to uh the college level and was able to, you know, kind of change the narrative. Like he got a number one overall player to commit yeah. to an HBCU, Travis Hunter, who balled out mm, as well. Yes. Um at Colorado Crazy. for his first game. And both his sons. Both his sons balled out. Balled out. And it's cool to see like from like the college football community. He was getting like a lot of hate from other coaches because they're yeah. like kind of jealous in a way. Because no, it doesn't matter where Deion Sanders goes; he could go to any school in the country, but he can recruit anyone because of who he is. Yeah. So yeah. like the That's fact he's going time. to Colorado and like he's getting all these people to go play at CU, a team that was one and eleven. Yeah. And then like flip the roster, then they play TCU, who was a runner up in the national championship last year. Yeah. And they beat them on the road. Then you have people like Travis Hunter, who's literally a unicorn. Like he's playing. Both sides. Both sides of the ball at a very high level. Like, you've, you've seen people kind of, oh, get a few snaps of receiver. Like, yeah. Adoree Jackson, when he's at USC, kind of did a little bit, like, receiver and corner. But he wasn't playing, like, the whole game and also, like, at a high level the whole game. Like, 11 catches for 129 yards as a receiver, and then you get an interception, and you're also allowing, like, two catches for less than 10 yards the whole game. It's funny. They were chirping him, you know too, the saying? entire time. Like They were like, throw it to Travis. Like I've never, I've literally never seen that in my life, and I've been watching football my whole life, and I've never seen someone do that, like play yeah. a whole game and dominate like that on both. He was sides. like 111 snaps out of yes. like 130 or something like. Played that. the whole game. He yeah. literally played every possession besides special teams, and a few they took him out a few times on defense. Yeah, 
That he's different. must be crazy. Bro. Like, he's different. That endurance. That's Bro. crazy. And the fact he's like, and that's the thing. I don't know how sustainable this is going to be because it's yeah. like, Maybe he did it the first game because it was like a big time thing to make that statement. Yeah. But he also plays Nebraska this week, so it's like another big time game. And then they have a bio, they play Colorado True, State, yeah. and then they play USC, USC. week third or uh, September thirtieth. And I'm hoping they're undefeated. USC's undefeated because that Ooh. game's gonna be lit if that's the yes, case. Yes, if that's the so, case. But yeah, I, th- I mean, I, I'm I'm happy for Dion. I hope he continues to prove people wrong. Like I like when people kind of do things outside the norm and. You know, do, do does it their oh. way, but like backs it up. Like that's pretty cool. So one thing that like kind of blows my mind a little when I ever like I hear like oh when people start talking about Dion and like or one thing I guess that comes to my mind is that like there's a rumor when he did his combine is he like wasn't there like how everybody was mm. like at the hotel or like you know doing press conference he like showed up flew in ran his forty with his chains on and everything and then uh left like that's all he did because mm-hmm. you know that's he's him you ever see that commercial <laughs> that night commercial was like leon sandcastle Dion sanders yeah 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 yeah, yeah she was fire but yeah speaking of that so another football thing that just came out today um Antonio Brown said that he has CTE. Mm. What are your all's thoughts on that? Like, is this, <laughs> was this kind of something that we could have already seen and kind of predicted? Or is this, like, bro, brand new news? Bro, this is one of those things where I'm like, okay, we know you. Literally, everyone, one, you just watch that Vontez perfect hit. Lord have yeah, mercy. Yeah, But, like, <laughs> yeah. bro, like, we know he, we knew he had CTE from that point. Because there was, Antonio Brown was not, like, a troubled player. Like, he wasn't, like, acting a fool. Then he gets hit, starts acting a fool. So, like, obviously, you know, like, that's an issue. Yeah. Then he, you know, he wins a Super Bowl ring with the Pats. He's kind of like off the grid for a little bit. You're like assuming things are good because of that. Then he gets hit, CTE, whatever, retires, and he starts going off the grid. Like on the Full Sin podcast, takes off his pads at uh, the Jet Stadium. Mm-hmm. Um, he ends up making songs, yeah. like chasing his UPS driver. And then like he had a girl like lick this jewelry with like finger on his hand. She had like a split tongue. Was getting <laughs> beef with Tom Brady. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah for bags. Yeah. And then like said, I fucked your girl. Yeah. Jeez. That shit was crazy. So it's like <laughs> I, I think people were saying that it wasn't actually his girl, but it looks just like him, but I don't I don't believe that honestly. Yeah, that'd be kind of Bro, weird. then he was like uh in that pool and shit. Yeah, like oh, oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they like kicked him out or something. Yeah, he's done a lot of yeah, foul he was shit. Pack- or I mean uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what'd you say? Yeah. Oh dude. But, but I know I feel like we we already like kind of assume he had CTE, <laughs> uh-huh. but now it's just like official that he does. Yeah. So I or, guess not saying everything he did is like, oh, you're like you're cool now just because yeah. you have CTE, but it was explains ca- it. Yeah, yeah, explains well, yeah, a lot of the well, things. That's the way I'm looking at it is it is he using I have CTE to help like oh that like, explains like, everything yeah. that I've been doing is because I have CTE. It's like when people are like, I'm colorblind and I don't know what that color is because I'm colorblind. Mm. Who that like, who like could that be? It. Yeah. No, I don't know. I just think is last little tidbit. I just think it's one of those things where he said that because, like, obviously we all knew, but he's just like wants attention. So yeah. it's like this is gonna bring attention to my name by like saying that, or maybe he went somewhere, got medically diagnosed, and had to like say that because it came out from like a news source. It wasn't like him like yeah coming out on camera or something. You know, we have a press conference or yeah. Instagram live. Exactly. So <laughs> oh, yeah. you got it. Lead it off, Lord Commander. No, I was just gonna say uh my school got that ass clap this weekend, forty four to six. Jeez. So I, I, you know why? For for you know Lewis, why? right? Yeah. No, I went to see you, bro. Oh, we coming. I, I claim I claim, I claim Colorado, now? I claim Colorado before, bro. I used to tell people too. I used to be like, yeah, I didn't go to Fort Lewis. Like they'd be because they'd be like, where'd you go to school? I'm like, oh, I went to school in Colorado. They'd be like, Boulder. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Every time, I was like, bro, I can tell them about Fort Lewis and then tell them I played football there because they look them up right now. They see they're losing seventy seven to zero. Then they look at me they're like, oh. they're like, oh, he, oh, you're trash. When that wasn't the case when I was there, yeah. but you know, motherfuckers would look that shit up and they would oh, see that yeah. right away. So you gotta, you gotta, you, you know need to look saying? up the scores between this time. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> Facts. Damn, oh, bro, bro. Last year they were outscored like four nine, four ninety something to like 
30 points. I'm not even lying, bro. Shut the hell up. I'm not even... Bro, 490? Let me, let me read this for... What hey, is the creative for Madden Lewis, play? And, what? <laughs> and for Lewis, if you, if you like have a problem with me saying this, one, I played there. Two, I'm trying to get this bag so I can buy this program. NIL times. Like, I'm trying to buy a roster. So... Facts. Yeah, dude. NIL so, time. like... Well, you said 490? What? Every time it was one play? Hold on. I'm about to read, I'm about to read you the... There's, their, like, no their, there's the, like an actual stat. Bro. No, I just did the math, but like... Uh, um, like the margin of victory type shit. Okay. 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 Last year, first game, they lost twelve to fifty two. Second game, lost three to twenty seven. That's not that bad, but it's fucking New Mexico That's, Highlands. They lost the. <laughs> they lost the uh, Adam State fifty two to seventeen. They lost the Pueblo seventy five to three. They lost the uh, Shadron fifty six to three. They lost the uh, Mesa seventy to ten. They lost the uh, South Dakota School of Mines sixty five to twenty. They lost Black Hill State, the worst fucking team in the conference when I was there. Whooped their ass. Well, we weren't even that good at times. They lost to them 75 to 0. Lost Another to Western, sweet. the school Austin Eckler went to 55 to 14. Lost in Colorado School of Mines 80 to 0. Bruh, I seen that shit. 80 was, to 0? Yes, what? bro. I'm sorry. I bro, to, I'm telling you, like, bro, <laughs> that's, how does that feel to, like, lose like that, bro? And I want and I try to, like, low key, like, try to get the film because I just had to see. Like, I'm like, bro, how are they losing like that? Like, like that's embarrassing. That's some like Blue Mountain State. Like, that's we like just party all the time. Some Madden shit. Like, bro, I'm playing against my little brother. Or yes. shit. I'm just like one play touchdown. Every bro, it was time. actually so bad that like all the players, like that me and then guys that played with me or even guys that played before me, were like, and even even a few guys that played a little bit after me were like tweeting them or like, bro, like we were like going off. We we're like, bro, this is like unacceptable. Like y'all are going out there every week and losing like that. Like you're, and we know you're probably like smoking or going to parties and shit. Like don't care. Like. Bro, that's embarrassing. Like you're yeah, over, you're getting your ass whooped every single like these. There's teams that are probably like not even practicing that week. They're probably taking bye weeks because they know they're gonna whoop your ass like that. Gee, you know what I'm bro. saying? Yeah, that's embarrassing. So, yeah. hey, uh, third strings, you're about to go crazy this so week. I, yeah, bro. So when I when I seen that shit, because I was actually talking to my boy Huff, uh, <laughs> shout out to Huff, and I was like, he was like, you watch, he was like, you gonna come to a Fort Lewis game this year? And I said, bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. Probably no. not. Like, I, I was like, I'm not finna wait. Like, I'd be, I was like, it'd be cool to go to Durango and hang out for like a weekend or so. But I was like, bro, there's not, there's like this team, there's nothing I want to do with them until they can like at least get competitive. I don't even care if you're losing every single game, but yeah. it needs to be like by Plus, like don't 20 lose. points better, at most. Lose by it better be like you that Hodo uh, versus Liberty Hill game, <laughs> bro, 82 to 80. Bro, that, that sh- we might, hey, we might have to slide the Hodo game this season. Or you, they play Weiss at the end of the Well, let's year. go. Let's go. That's the one that I, I want to fade. That, That's that QB be, too is committed QB? to Tech. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That'd be so, crazy. I'll, Try to work, get that high school. Yeah, we might have to sneak Alex in there. I don't know if he's Allowed to high school games. So. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, we'll see. Damn, this man is speaking on your name. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that, that's also something else we've been trying to do is get more active with like stuff like that. Like, yeah, I think, the, like y'all did like Fit Fest, and if you guys don't know, like, you can check it out on their last recap or last time we've talked to them. But, and yeah, they also we have, have some content, content coming, coming out, out soon. It's getting cooked up well. right now. So, they have some content coming out. But, I mean, I'm, yeah, just trying to do more like, because like, obviously, we do the podcast yeah. and like, that's fine. And like we had the round table and like whenever we get a studio, we want to do them like weekly, just with rotating people. Just like a a show like this where we just shoot the shit. Y'all kind of see who we really are. Facts. Um you dig. But no, like y'all y'all did that. And I've been talking to uh my, my boy Jeremy Carr, who's uh at Weiss, does like their he's like all their videos. Yeah, he does all their stuff. Yeah. So he they play uh Shot Temple. by Jerm. They play yeah. Temple like very soon, like, like the 20, end of the month, 29th, nine, I think. Yeah, the 29th. So, like, trying to go to that, get some content. They got some four stars committed there. Trying yeah. to get like the little interviews because it can still fit our lane, but like just doing something else Fact. that's different. Yeah. And it kind of sucks because I said on I was recap, but just having like, we're just limited here. So, it's like, you don't want to do everything here yet. Yeah. It sucks. So just trying to figure out how to do something away from the crib that's like different from what we've been doing. Yeah. I feel like with us, like, Football is our culture down here. Mm-hmm. So, especially like high school football, mm-hmm. like, come on. Those kids were trying to, like, okay, hold on. This is weird. Yeah, <laughs> pause. Uh, we're just trying to help you build your name. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, but they just played LBJ Weiss, and that was, they like low key murdered LBJ. And really? LBJ what was went, the score. Uh, I believe it was like 44 to 7. Damn. Yeah, Weiss is pretty good. I'm hoping they go to state, bro. Like, yeah, they have cool. a team. Huddle like, went pretty far last season, yeah. 
And I think to the round of 12, that's what it's called or something. It'll be good because, I mean, it's always the same team from Austin representing, like, the rich schools. Like, yeah, Travis, like Travis, Wesley. Wesley. So, it's like, it'd be cool if, like, Cedar Weiss. Park. Like, that's Fleurville, basically, to me, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. So, it's like, it'd be it'd be cool if they can go far. Mm-hmm. But, no, I mean, sports has been good. Like, it's about that time of the year. I think this is, like, this is the best season, yeah, bro. Like, football's back, baby. We've been talking about playing some stuff. Like, we got the – like, they're, I'll kind of, like I kind of want to go to the rodeo this year, we all. That'd be fun. Hell, yeah. No, we are we going – we are going. There is You're going to Houston one? We're, no, we're going to the state fair. And we're gonna That's not the rodeo. Oh, that, okay. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> I'm dead. As, yeah. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll do both. Play. Yeah. Oktoberfest. I actually want to go because every you know, the last two years we've been oh, worst, worst fest, worst, worst fest. fest, yeah, that worst shit. Fest. I was like, yeah, October sorry, fest. sorry. Worst fest at Deutsche Fest. <laughs> we're going to Deutsche. <laughs> we're going to Deutsche. <laughs> Hell no. Let's do it. October fest. Oh, 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 oh Flugerville's fun. Oh, Flugerville's fun. Spring. Low key, tell me I've you're been, from Flugerville. Now tell me you're from Flugerville. I've been wanting to go to that again just to see how it is. Dude, it's probably. I've never been. You've never been Deutsche Fest. Really? This pretty fun. Like in high school. I would only go for the food. They, uh, yeah, the food was fire. It was like lot. having a state fair there. Yeah, yeah. It's, shit. because it's all German food. Yeah, and so they had uh, them. Uh, what's it called? Them bratwurst over there. Oh, yeah. I got me a couple of them sauerkraut on that. You probably Bro, I got food poisoning the most, huh? really bad one year. Oh, God. from bratwurst. Me and my really? mom got food poisoning when I was in like third grade, and I think that's why I don't eat glizzies. Huh? <laughs> that no, that is a lie. That's you a do lie. eat glizzies. No, I you don't. Definitely, you definitely be eating glizzies. Stop. It, Bro, listen, that was the only thing on that boat. Like, and I was, and I was, well, there's been many times and I, we were taking, you, I was taking Casa de, Casa, Casa de Migo. Casa, Casa de Migo. Casa, we're taking Casa didn't de Migo. Did you just to eat one head. at the camping trip? No, I didn't even touch those. <laughs> Let's not cap now. I didn't even, eat, I didn't eat none of those glizzies. I was out there chilling. Hey, you're on this no. month. Line. Me and yeah. yeah. Well, we, me and Kat had brought food or ate before. Yeah. I don't remember what we did, but what? <laughs> I don't, I don't eat glizzies. <laughs> uh, it was a uh, cat's and cat gin and vowels. Wait, don't party. you have a picture? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. You share the class? That, that man was going feral on that thing. I saw that. <laughs> feral. That's the only way he would eat it. Bro, because I was out professional drinking. I was out I was out drinking everybody on that damn barge. And I was putting them all on, I was drinking them under that barge is what I was doing out there. Man. Bro, I, 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 there's I, a lot of cat I opened that bottle right of Casamigos and that shit got drank so fast, bro. I was like, yo, got us chill with that. They over here, like, they put the little bar nipple thing on it uh, and they were just pouring that shit. I'm like, bro, relax. Like, y'all just wasting the liquor. Like, hey, this just man, wasting the liquor. Hey, hey let, let me set the record straight. This man, Cam, was not not like oh relax that man was like it's like hey another one can, can you get another one for well shit yeah, i was like if you're more everybody a shot i bought yeah, the fucking bad. bottle Camera. like oh, yeah, i want to drink that, that shit right. so yeah i mean i knew better i, I bought a big ass bottle of something cheaper i was like <laughs> nah, i drink it no nah, no nah, hey d- just know zach whenever i'm off this 75 hard boy it's on and popping and then you're gonna be like cam stop hey hey you know what <laughs> you know what <laughs> We're gonna have this on camera, so um, I think after you don't, that we should go see a uh, Texas State game. Mm, that'd be lit. Yeah, that would be. Who do they play? Let's see. I think I'm gonna be done the 26. Hey, because as as people in Texas State say, we do this. We do this shit. I can't go there no more. I'm like that place is uh, <laughs> there's some bad demons down there. Um, let's, let's just say that. <laughs> yeah, you only go. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Texas State. Honestly, I don't even know how. How do you think that would even be now? Like what? going to the square right now. I feel like after we've matured a lot, and like I mean, we've gone a couple times yeah, and yeah, it's cool. Whatever. But yeah. you do feel like a little out of place a yeah, little bit because old. we are a little bit older now. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, it's still a good time, it's, especially if you go with like your boys and shit. Yeah, which like we still know. Yeah, a decent amount of people. The prices do like. Keep you like nah, damn, bro. No, not even up. that anymore. They went up, they went up. Bit, really? They went yeah, up. like they're like pretty much like Austin prices. Now. Really? Uh, like ten bucks, twelve bucks for wow. a drink. They're a little bit, little bit cheaper. And I uh, like eight. They're, they're a little bit cheaper than Austin. I would like say. eight. A little bit. Okay. Well, like not, not Austin. Much. What Austin was yeah. when we moved back from like college and yeah, shit like, is what it is yeah. at San Marcos. That now. that shit is crazy. I actually like. I wouldn't drive down there just for the cheap no. drinks because like it's, they're they're not that much it's cheaper. Not that much cheaper. But if you're already over there, then it's 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 whatever. different. Yeah. Loki, I'm not. I don't. I can't tell you when was the last time I bought a drink in Austin. Because the last time I bought a drink at a bar, I think he was in. Buy his drinks. People buy his drinks. No, it was in. Da- no, I was in. Da- I think the last time I bought a drink was in Dallas, or was that like Soho? But like you can't. We're not counting that. Like those actually, prices, those that's prices that's are not true. ridiculous. I bought you a drink. You're right. But like that you drank, I don't know what you. No, mean. I did. No, 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 no. I meant they 
the last time you oh. bought a drink that you, you drank. That's what I meant. Oh, Not yes, like yes, you drank, yes, yeah, yeah. Okay, yes. Let yes. me clarify. <laughs> No, but I don't know. It's just You're getting caught up. Yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've kind of not like. That's another thing. Like, I don't. I don't want to get back. Go. Go back to buying drinks. I feel like that shit's just like. It's kind of a waste. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, and like I don't think uh, going out anymore is as appealing as it used to be. No. Uh, yeah. Honestly, like there's, I mean, to be honest, even when we would go out at the time anyways like it was never like oh let me go like mac on these girls you know it was always like oh i just want to hang out with the boys and like that's kind of i think everybody's kind of starting getting like that now yeah so um like we don't care to just go out like that anymore it's like oh we could just do that here like how we did uh this past weekend yeah, yeah we cool. watched the football game you know game and, and just chilled and yeah. you know yeah. even as we grilled on uh friday or whatever it was so yeah. it's cool to do stuff like that and just hang out with your friends because mm. that's the i think at the time that was just all that we had to do yeah you know like, oh let's go out let's we just, just turned 21 yeah and like, like oh we're, shit even last year yeah. like up to 25 like we really yeah. weren't like locked in and doing something yeah you know, that's we what were just really out is. we were just like young adults that had a little bit of money that we were just like fuck it you might as well go out like and most of us were single too yeah so you like, know so yeah things have changed no yeah <laughs> i but, mean uh, zach and i are still single so that's true yeah but but, uh, but even then going back to the point of like locking in on something no like, yeah for I sure i feel like i feel like we we knew well, we were doing this but at the same time we weren't like dialed and i feel like now with a year once, once we've like doing d- been doing it more with a year, doing cooler stuff like y'all doing stuff on y'all's own, yeah, us doing some stuff, we're like, all right, like we we can really see where this goes. Like we really know some people doing some dope shit. So like, why are we not like on the weekend, like or whenever we have extra time working on the craft or working on the business? Yeah, and then we're just like kind of just doing the same thing. And now like, I'm just like, damn, like you said, I'm just I'm I'm really like at the point to where I want to just take trips with you guys and like really travel and do some stuff like if we're gonna do something like let's actually like make it an experience instead yeah. of like a just a normal night out because we can always do that but yeah i feel like the memories like we still talk about san diego and that was like two plus years ago now yeah you facts. know and it's it's cool to like have that yeah. memory even like 10 years net from now 15 years from now we'll have that da- the dallas, dallas trip. trip like yeah. both our, times our, our pod uh, broken bow broken trip. bow loading yeah. you know so broken like different stuff. Yeah. yeah so just do for stuff like that just trying to like create some memories with y'all and stuff because i mean you just never know when like don't want to be morbid but like it's just cool to just have those those memories with god the guys and shit it just makes it even better we can capture it on all these cameras yeah facts (laughs) facts oh shit i had to burp so speaking speaking of getting older like that what's what's something that like y'all wish y'all would learn a little sooner in life Ooh, that's a good one i I could start it off because you brought it up earlier uh Bro, I just wish I knew about, well, obviously I got a credit card when I could, but I wish I could have learned what how you use credit, like I was saying earlier, as leverage, so you could buy the things that you want. But obviously you, you have to be smart with your purchases because you have to realize you got to pay that back. Mm-hmm. Because that's where credit, like I see that it has that stigma of being a bad thing because more than likely... Um, if it's, if you're told that it's because someone in your family is in like ridiculous debt that they're probably yeah. never going to get out of, you know? And if you're told that at a young age, that's all you think about it. You don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I wish, I wish they, for one, I wish they would teach it in school, mm-hmm. but I always, I talked to y'all about this. I don't really think it's something at that age that we would want to take yeah. because I mean, realistically, we don't want to be in school, but I guess like maybe like it being just a class that is needed to take just yeah. so you can kind of get an understanding of Financial what it is literacy. and yeah. Yeah. yeah and like and how you can use it you know mm-hmm. like be smart with it obviously get the things that you want or whatever build it up pay it off like at the end of the month ideally and then you start getting rewards for mm-hmm. it once you get a nicer card mm-hmm. you could get travel points you could get mm-hmm. cash back you could get these things that mm-hmm. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, I didn't yeah. know this. I've been using my debit card this whole time, and I'm not getting anything back from buying, making yep. purchases. Yeah. You know, even if it is one percent, one and a half percent, whatever it is, that's like that's than, still better yeah. than not getting anything back. So I just wish I would have known that, and just 
for me, it, it sucked because my card got closed out when we were in San Marcos. Yeah. I always bring it, or I bring it up like whenever we talk. Obviously, yeah. I don't know if I said it on camera, but we were in San Marcos mm -hmm. and I had to get a new card and I didn't activate it in time, so it closed out my card. So I that was a credit card that I had right when I turned eighteen, mm -hmm. and it was like getting increasing the credit limit every single time, but ended up like closing it. So I haven't used it in shit probably since like 2019 or something mm -hmm. so i'm just paying it off and it's really it was just an interest at first and then i got that down and then started getting better with my money and then ended up like i said earlier getting like an apple card and getting a little heb credit card and shit having that money to be like oh i can invest in myself and get a laptop or i can get is one thing we didn't talk about actually travis scott tickets yeah. so we're gonna see travis in november but getting stuff like that you know and then getting a little bit of money back for doing that like yeah. i never like if if you don't know about it i knew about credit cards of course but i didn't know to that extent of like oh if i'm buying if i sign up for this i get this much reward points and this and it, it's like like you said financial literacy like not truly understanding that until now but it's better to find it out later because you like i'm able to um, like be smart with my uh like purchases now like i'm not just you know 18 19 years old in college buying stuff you know and not really understanding that i gotta pay this back you yeah. know so because I, I only just had that one that i was using for like gas and yeah. stuff but but i mean at least you had some knowledge that basically you gotta pay it back I mean, no yeah for so, sure for some sure people literally like got stuff on it no and yeah like, oh i gotta pay back absolutely like, so. uh, but i just wish i would have known what i know right now yeah when i was like 18 because then i would have built up a, like the american express you know what i mean or yeah. like these like ways that you can use like your cards to get better cards and yeah. get your increased limit and oh you've been with us for so long we'll give you this much mm -hmm. you know so yeah. just stuff like that like mm -hmm. kind of more of financial for me because i think that is that has always been the thing that not really held me back in a sense but you know my family is not well off and i i'm the one that's usually having to buy stuff for myself mm -hmm. so like just kind of getting the understanding of that like okay this is what you have to do even with the business bro for real like you know we whenever we were at the beginning of building up opinionated and stuff mm -hmm. we you know we started getting a credit card and we're able to buy these things with that and now it's like oh shit we could get a better credit card now so we won't have to pay for anything for the business you know stuff like that you know like i didn't know about that and so probably last year honestly like no one no one's gonna tell you that unless you either look it up yourself or mm -hmm. if someone just kind of puts you on you know like yeah. so i just wish that was something i would known especially in high school you know because yeah. you could really like if you knew exactly what you wanted to do with your life you probably by like 20 21 and shit like have great credit you can yeah. get a crazy whatever rewards yeah, that you yeah. want and do the things live this lavish life get a loan and it, get a house like it, off really exactly you like know that. so stuff like that just because you know you can have all the money in the world but if your credit score isn't good like you won't be able to get a lot of things mm -hmm. and i don't know if kids really know that you know and it's gonna it's gonna cost a lot too like i mean a lot of times where they're like, oh, bad credit, you can still finance this car. Your interest or your loan is like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Stupid, yeah. So it's yeah. like, you're, so. you're not even like making any money or saving money. Yeah, I mean, and go back to your point about, you know, as being financially, financially literate. Um, the problem is today, and not this kind of your point, is that, you know, we live in a society that basically like everything's faster. Like we get data faster, like your information faster. We get, you know, we can reach out to people faster and everything's just faster. So people mm -hmm. will have a like... I need it now. Mm -hmm. So that's an issue that I would say kind of going to credit cards kind of plagues our generation, kind of future generations mm -hmm. that basically it's the, I need it now kind of thing. Yeah. So that's why credit card debt's kind of skyrocketed and kind of. Well, it's this also too, like the influence of social media. Like yep. you guys have seen some of our other round tables. Like we've talked about people in the past, like just like kind of living, you know, they're putting their highlights online. So it's like a lot, a person with good credit or has a credit card I mean, even for me, like I have great credit, but just like there's, there was a time in my life where I was like 24, 25, I was kind of going out a lot and just spending unnecessary money. Like I think back about where that money could have went with the business or like even just my personal finances, like I could be cl way a lot closer to wanting to get into a house that I want, or, you know, I could have put that money down more on my car or just did more with it. So yeah. it's like just learning, I guess to answer your question, I get a little bit, just like learning to like 
I guess like, and also going back to what I was saying earlier, just being like a little bit more mature, like not trying to like, not really caring at all what people think, but like subconsciously you still like feel like you need to do these things, like say no, like not learning how to say no a little bit and learning how to like really prioritize yourself. Cause at the same time, like I'm a very like caring, giving person, but like learning how to balance that with, I need to like lock in for me and like do what's best for me and like not appease like these people like kind of go off the grid, be, be in my A for a while, like just do, do stuff with the people that are doing the kind of similar stuff with me. So I think that's like really important, especially if you figure out what you want to do. Yeah. Like just really like knowing how to like even, you know, end a couple friendships if it has to do that. Like you can, you kind of start to see where like we've gotten closer. So it's like, there's people that like, I'm pretty sure you all have hung out with and people that like I've hung out with that we really don't like mesh well. Cause like what they're doing in their life is fine, but it just kind of doesn't align with you and just learning how to know that that's just a season and it's okay. Like we're not, you know, on the same level or like not level, but like same, uh, yeah, like not not that level, different like term. Them. We're not I know how to commend them. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, see what you're saying. Yeah, just yeah. trying on the same vibe. Yeah, so just trying to you know just be more intentional, really, with things. Like, I think I, I wish I learned that sooner. Just just trying to like, be younger, intentional. For sure, for sure. Boomer, yeah, boomer. Sooner. Oh wow. <laughs> what about you, Zay? I think uh, one thing I would say is just to, uh, in don't be afraid to invest in yourself and take that risk. Even though, like, <clears throat> it is going to be one, like how you said. I can't tell if he's laughing at me. Nah, I, think I don't think is. so. Nah, nah, he is. Yeah. But it's more or less just to, you know, like how we took the risk to get all these, you know, the equipment that we're using now, your MacBook, my camera, mm -hmm. anything like that. Uh, don't be afraid to bet on yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, okay. What about you, Zach? Um... It's funny. I was like, I asked all this question. I like haven't really thought about like my answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds like but, a Zach Scott question. Big Cox Scott, there for you. I don't know because yeah. I'm like, I, like I want y'all's answer. And I don't really God, think about God, y'all are all. I love y'all's uh, answer. I'll think of something else. But no, no. Too. Basically, um, my answer is kind of going to be more like you know, do stuff for yourself. Like don't be, don't be a people pleaser kind of thing. Mm, um, I like that. How's it going? Because you know, honestly, when I was younger, that was like a big thing. So like, that was kind of like. I was afraid to say things just because I'm like, well, I don't, like, I don't want to hurt that person's feelings or, you know, I don't. Trying to have everybody involved, too. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's a big thing. Like, yeah. Like, I left the toxicity group chat the other day. Oh. Uh, yeah, I did. Because <laughs> I was just like, we don't use it anymore. Yeah. Like, no offense to those people, but it's like. No, we don't. The people that are still, like, close that like, we'll talk to, then, like. like we're yeah, not, we're obviously we're, in other yeah, group chats. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't really, we don't really need it. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, welcome back from those commercial breaks, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so I got a question for y'all, man. Uh, just kind of reflecting on what we've done this whole year, kind of mm -hmm. what we've done in 2600, you know, if you know, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, what has been y'all's, like, favorite moment, mm -hmm. like, throughout this whole process and our journey and content creation? Oh, my God. That's a very, like... Good question. Shout out to Topo Chico. No free shout outs. No rush. Just curious. I feel um, like that was a good. Fuck. Dude, I'm trying to think. That vault is crazy. <laughs> he said this year, like just in general, or are you talking about like. Just like. I would make um, it appropriate. For I, I would say just, I would say like since we like started shooting content. Yeah, together. since we've like consistently been shooting content, I yeah. guess. So like uh, going on two, half, going two. on two years. Yeah. It would be two and. This upcoming January, but Ooh. year and a half, I guess. Yeah. Maybe if it's not even content wise, like maybe if does it just, have to be in here? Um. Yeah, you want to do it in here? Yeah, I kind of want to okay. do it in here because I feel like this is like yeah. a. You're trying to do like a memory look back. Yeah, there. like HQ memory that. Because uh, I feel like we kind of all have different ones, probably. I'll let y'all go first. I think sure. my favorite one had to been. When we got our hoodies for the team hoodies, mm -hmm. we got it. It was our chaining day. Yeah, I would say because you got it a little after. Yeah, you, Alex, Steve, Steve. Yeah. It was me, Alex, and Steve. And the JG's on the way. Yeah, you what on it? Um, and I say that just because it was one of those things where it's like, <laughs> I'm a part of the team. Like <laughs> yeah, I really like you like, earned your stripes type shit. Yeah, Bikes. like they look at it and they're like, no, like he is one that helps us. Yeah, he, he mm -hmm. is a founder. Facts, yeah. facts. So that's why I was not like, for real, wow. though. 
Like, no, that, that, that this is, is something that like every like it's not like we all take uh, take it serious, and it's the all level. Mm-hmm. Like we're all like you know same page, and we try to be just one unit. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad to be part of this unit. Appreciate sure, it. Yeah. Oh, and then writing my uh, name on the flag. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that was fun. Yeah. So remember, yeah, I think... We, should we got to have JG on, too? I yeah, think I think G- only the real ones have the... In the circle. In the circle. Yeah, in the circle. Near, Steve's right here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, head. like I said, I, only the real... That's That's crazy. No, I remember you got CJ on first, and CJ got to sign it. It's like that. I was a little salty. I'm not going to lie. I was like, damn. I was like, when am I going to get to sign it? Like when you get on an interview, I was like, well, "Damn!" Like, hey, uh, that makes it that makes it special, though. It, you know, yeah, you're not you're not wrong. Because like, there's people that have been like, "Can I?" So I'm like, "Fuck! What the fuck? No!" And that's one thing that I'm glad never happened is someone like just signing a flag just to do it, mm. like that. Because we've had a fuckload of people here that like don't even like have never been on the podcast <laughs> Facts, and they've yeah. never signed like the flag. And obviously, like I've done a good job hiding the sharpies. Yeah, that's but, also an interesting point too. But like, like nobody no one's is, even asked. Yeah. Nobody's like, like just know. went up and signed it. So I think that's really cool. That people like cool. respect that. Facts. And facts. respect the people's names on there. No, for real. Though. So damn, I'm trying to think though. Yeah, I want to go last. Okay. Since I asked the question. But I have my answer already. Um Honestly, like the this isn't like a one particular like memory. Like when we, but basically whenever we had everyone here, we started doing the fast lanes. Like we had I remember we had the table like right there. Yeah. We had everyone here and basically everyone like was in rotation just yeah. doing the fast lanes. Facts. Yeah, I don't uh, know if everybody knows that, but those fast lanes, I think after like the main the PCT boys, not the main people, sorry. Like me, <laughs> Alex, uh Zach, Zay, and JG, I think those were the five that we had shot in one day. And then everybody else after we shot in like groups. So it was cool do, having that. Like it was like we were like live performance. Yeah, type it was shit. like studio yeah. vibes. Yeah, almost. like yeah. everybody was they, We were deep, probably like 12 people in yeah. here. Mm-hmm. Just like asking like ran, rapid fire questions to whoever was in front of the camera. So nah, that was, yeah, yeah that's like, a good fun. Facts, facts. Oh, uh, shit. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with one with me and Carlos first and then with y'all. Yeah. So me and Carlos, when we first got the flag and, like, put it up and, like, Carlos has on his screensaver, like, one of the first pictures we took in front of the flag and it has, like, no signatures. There's not even stuff on the sh- stuff on the shelf and stuff. Mm-hmm. And just thinking back then, like, having no idea where this was going to lead and, like, kind of seeing it now, like, two, three years later, like, the flag f- filling up and then, like, us, like, being an LOC and, like, having yeah. a merch drop and just seeing, like – Everything, putting up a web a website, having clothes, um, almost have two thousand followers on Instagram. Hopefully, monetize Sheesh. soon. So just trying to like go from a, on, uh, go from PCT. a point and just yeah, like, yeah, fa- yeah. Shout out to the all. That's nothing. Shout out to the PCT boys. Three hundred love social. Just I was gonna talk about it later. Subs. Hopefully, yeah, yeah, hopefully uh, by the next round table they have more three hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah, so keep setting them goals and keep crushing them. I love to see that. Hell for the yeah. Boys. But yeah, probably that for me and Carlos. And then um, I would say the group one. Yeah, just bird relax, bro. No, 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 no. Relax. You should go put your hands underneath the table. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, I, I say for the group one, oh man, probably. Shit, dude, I'm trying to think. Bro, I don't know. It's like hard. There's like, yeah, because I, 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 I like shoot content with y'all, but it's like more so just like every now memories. And then. Yeah, I guess oh, I don't know. Actually, I would say challenge. I would just say like the merch drop. To be honest, like when we first brought the box in here, because like oh, everyone, because yeah. like everyone was like, like oh so God, excited. Like ge- everyone was like, you could tell everyone was genuinely excited for it. Like Facts. it's like it's finally yeah. here. Yeah, like bro. the work was put in to get it there, and like we finally were having like pieces and stuff to wear, and like everyone's like kind of waiting on their sizes. Like. You give CJ like his largest, and then it's like, all right, who's next? And then like people are getting their clothes, and like Shot. super happy and excited about it. And for me, that was like a special feeling because it was like not only do they believe in like this, like OP and PCT, but they also like believe in me and like what I'm trying to help us do. And so like, so I thought that was cool, um, just like for y'all to like be appreciative of it and um, just happy with how it turned out. And then obviously that's like the first of many so like obviously we know in the future like our quality of, of shirts and hats and whatnot will continue to increasing and better but like there's going to always be a special place for that first drop because it's like yeah no matter like 
what happens. Like that that shit is just you, you're able to put something on a shirt that you created out of your head, and like people bought it from you. Facts. So I think that's cool. Yeah, that shit's fire. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do mine. Uh, so my like favorite moment. It, it's not just one specific moment. I think it it's um. It's when we have like those edit days or like the meetings and stuff. Like I really like appreciated those because honestly, especially at the beginning, whenever we weren't like fully organized and structured and stuff, we never really the days that we were doing edit days were just kind of like out of the blue because we just didn't have anything planned. But the yeah. fact that y'all would show up and still commit to something that, you know, at the time wasn't anything in in like in reality, but like to me and to everybody like that has been involved, it was something from the beginning, you know, so it was cool seeing that, oh, we're all trying to get to where like our vision's at, you know, and, you know, kind of doing the meetings and kind of put me in a spot where, you know, if something was bothering me, I, I needed to talk to about it, about who to whoever, you know, and trying to trying to become a better like leader and stuff and that was what like those moments were cool for me because it's like damn like my boys are like really behind me and we're all doing this for the same goal and you know we we don't really care we don't care about the money right now because there isn't any coming in so everyone's sacrificing their tuesday or whenever it is that we'd link up and just kind of talk about stuff you know like that shit goes a long way and i think uh, it's it's just cool to see where we started from and like where we're at now because you know, we were just shooting podcasts, bro. Like, even when it started in my mom's uh, little office, you know, and then we would just like do shit like that. So it, it's cool to see how far, like, we're actually like starting to get a little more structured. You know, mm -hmm. we're getting a little more followers and getting more eyes on us and doing those things. Like, I just really appreciated those times because, like, this is when, like, where I, like, kind of, like, found out who I am and what I want to do, you know? So that's why, like, doing those those moments and stuff were just so huge for me. And, like, this place will always have, like, a special mm. spot in my heart. Because, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it, I, I, we weren't, he, yeah, we weren't, we weren't doing the things we were doing last year, you know? And we still lived here. And now it's like, damn, like, we've all grown up. We're, we're figuring out, like, damn, this is our goal and we're trying to achieve that. So probably those moments, like, those were, are the ones that are always going to, like, and those are always gonna stick with me, you know. Even when we move out, or even like probably like ten years from now, I'm gonna be like, damn, like you remember in twenty six hundred when we were Bro. shooting podcasts and yeah. staying up till however long because we forgot to hit the audio, you know, stuff, like little <laughs> shit like that, bro. Like we we've all we fucked up, you know. Everyone's messed up, but. Yeah. We we've grown and we've gotten better each time. So don't do that no more. Yeah, no, we're yeah. we're pretty we're we're decent now. Yeah, and also just it's super cool to just see y'all's growth, like to see how seriously y'all are taking it, and then knowing like, oh, I could be doing something. Let me put in extra because like I feel like once you get to that point of knowing you have to do more than enough is when you, we'll start like everyone will get on the same page and it's like all right, that's how you get to you know people we idolize mm -hmm. it's like oh it's like oh we, we, we did enough but it's like nah just keep keep pushing because mm -hmm. it's like it's when we like i said like i'm obsessed with even you. like me and lawn and bro me and lawn have been doing bars of the week for like four years and like yeah, i have I some of the old that. ones mm -hmm. that were like you know with this back then like yeah. technology's better we've gotten better but like the fact that it was i thought it was cool too like me and lawn like we were texting individually and i was like damn bro like Lon was like, I came a long way. I was like, yeah, bro. I was like, the fact that we have, we got like, we posted one that has like a hundred and like 30 K like currently, yeah, like it's nice. It's cool. And to know like people are watching our stuff and also to know like, damn, nobody's engaging with our stuff to now. Like I'm getting all my government on TikToks. People want to talk crazy. And, again, <laughs> I'm, and, like, and like, I'm talking, talking mess people, but like, at least like people are like paying Engaging, attention, you oh, know, yeah. like, and you're kind of putting the world on notice and you know, it's, I think too, like. Another thing that, like, it hasn't bothered me, but it just made me, like, really notice something is, like, we dropped that merch, and, like, very grateful for that. Like, whoever, everyone who purchased bought Fact. stuff. But it's, like, we dropped that merch, and then it's, like, people that are your friends growing up or, like, friends from college or, you know, people you met after high school. Like, you, the people you thought would buy stuff didn't. And then, like, the people that, like, barely know us or, like, only know us through this are supporting us. And that right there really told me, like, all right, 
the more and more we continue to evolve in this, the more and more I'm going to gravitate towards my peers yeah. than, than like those people that don't understand it. And I think that's okay. But just like, I think for me, that was like that closure I needed. Cause I used to always get mad when like, I'm like, bro, y'all never support us. Like we're doing some cool shit, blah, blah, blah. But now mm. that it's like, we have that validation from the peers and the homies. It's like, that's what I want. Mm. I would rather be respected by people doing similar stuff than people that don't understand it. For so. sure. I like that. Uh, I know. I think y'all saw it. Gray did like a little post. That was, about yeah, it. yeah, that was fire. And all that. And I'm pretty sure he got some merch. He's a big supporter of mm. us. But yeah. Like, him doing that, he didn't have to do that. Yeah. yeah. Like, he went Facts. out of his way to do all that. And yeah, that was dope. Shout man. out to boy Gray. Comments with Gray. Comments Check with out Gray. your Fortnite, you know, Facts. Uh, <laughs> yeah. information and all that. Yeah, no, it, it, it's crazy, man. Like, that's why it's just cool seeing how far everyone's come. Even even Zay, you with your photography and stuff. Like this time last year, like you weren't shooting like how you are now. You know, you yeah. weren't editing like your photos. You weren't doing shorts. You weren't. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like you, you have a business card. You have you know. So it, yeah. it's cool. I feel like that's like a, what I'm uh, like pretty proud of as well. Like just not saying I like encourage or like I like showed you the way and shit yeah. like you were already doing it i think it's just, it's just more so uh, like you believing in yourself and like you actually doing again. yeah exactly like you like bro like i think that's all that people need sometimes is like oh like you could do it them. yeah like because yeah. not for real though like, yeah, yeah, because yeah. not for real because like i think it's these are chills are for real no because like you i mean especially if like you know not saying that like you did or anything, but like you, if your family or whatever isn't like kind of sh- like helping you out or telling you like, hey, you could do this, like yeah. you know, you're probably not gonna think you can, honestly. Yeah. Like it, everything is kind of a dream until you actually start working towards it. You know, so you so, make it a reality. Exactly. So it's cool seeing you do that. Alex do his thing. J- the, JG and uh, Alex are off camera editing right now while we're shooting, helping us out as well. So it's cool. The the even if like y'all don't see it on camera or whatever, like there's still. So many people behind the scenes that help out with our brand, and it, it's dope, man. Like, like I say, it, it's a lot more deeper than just a podcast. I don't think people understand that, but they yeah. will soon enough. And, like, yeah. and it's one of those things too. Like, even looking at the website, and you go through the meet, meet, uh, yeah, the, meet opinion, whatever. Yeah, like yeah. you see About everyone's me. bio, you see like what everyone's kind of responsible for, and like seeing like that formation of the company it's like damn like people go to the website and like damn this shit's like for real like they're not just doing that shit just to do it no. and then knowing that eventually like we're gonna get to a point where this gets so big that then everyone's gonna kind of have their responsibilities within the company and then they'll just take care of people like we bring on hire mm-hmm. on contract out whatever Facts. and that'll be that's when it'll get cool because it's like damn remember when it was just us and we were like struggling to just post videos now we just show up record and and then like we have people schedule stuff and we just approve it. Yes yeah. or no, whatever. Like don't even have to design clothes anymore. Like just doing all the little nuances and stuff, but it's also cool and it makes you really appreciate all that. Yeah. Cause like, like we're like, you don't want to just blow up and then like not know what to do and, yeah. you know, kind of struggle. And then you fizzle out Facts. and just become like these like one hit wonder content creators yeah. or musicians or whatever. That's not us. So no, and that's another thing too, like getting more of that mindset of like, I can tell like y'all want it for the long term Cause it's like, all right, we're going to get older. So like, how do we evolve the brands? Like we can't just like do the same shit all the time. Like we're going to be older. Eventually we're going to be like having kids, families, like we're going to have to come in and be like, shoot, like hopefully when we're full time, like get come in the morning, like a job, shoot in the morning, like leave at like a reasonable time, like have Mm -hmm. the evenings to yourself. And then just like a bunch of ideas that we have. I'm just, I'm so ready to get those going and into fruition, bro. Like once we have this studio, like there's so much shit, like I want us to go crazy and they're like, as hard as we can for like the first year and to see what the fuck we do. Cause like Fact. that shit's going to be so cool. We're going to have all kind of space, create a playground, like do anything. It's going to be a fantasy factory. You know? Yeah. Like, it's like yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah so, hey, fun, like I said, don't, don't, don't be late to the party, man. Like Fact. really, we really got some cool shit cooking up. And if you guys don't notice, like you'll be put on notice at some point. That's Hope you had I, a mattress when you were I believe sleeping so. on this. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So you guys don't know, it's the tear talk segment for today's tear talk. We are going to do the top, Items you get in a movie theater. Zach looks like he's ready. Do you have the menu? Up? Hell yeah! I, was like, <laughs> I pulled the menu. Hey, because y'all be playing me too much. I'd be saying some random shit. So it's like, oh, three things. Real? Yeah, three things. Whatever right. you would get right. typically. So do you have to do like all three at like one time? Yeah, just go in okay. order. Worst uh, to last. Oh, worst last. Okay. Wait, you said worst last. I or? meant my bad. That's my bad. Worst, worst to first. Worst to best. <laughs> just name your three things. Okay. <laughs> um, 
first is gonna be. Um, Damn, what movie theater is that? <laughs> I find out. The Alamo Draft House. Gosh, no. bro, that's some shit I ain't even seen before. Um, is that truffle popcorn on your menu? <laughs> Thanks. Um, oh, so like, worse, like starting out pretzels. Okay. Um, but you'll get. But you get that. But you get it. You would get it. Oh, yeah. Get yeah. Okay. But that was the last enough. thing you would get. Yeah. Right. But it has to right. like, has to have cheese with it. That um, one. number two, I'm go very common. Probably popcorn. Um, number one, just for me personally, nachos. Really? Yeah. Okay. okay. Extra jalapenos. Mm, oh wow. Good. Yeah. Although. Them shits used to be free, but now they charge by the bag, which... Bro, that low-key, that shit is... I know your your movie bill will be like $60. That shit's not cheap. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you trying to say? Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just so For me, it's uh, whatever I sneak in. No, I'm kidding. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey, Allegedly. Ladies, um, we got him. Nah, for me, uh, number three is going to be a... Shit. A glizzy. No. Nathan's hot dogs. Yeah. Pro- number three is probably going to be like uh, some kind of like candy, like the the airhead, like sh- like oh, mm, strip, straws. strip thing or straws or whatever. Yeah, those yeah. are good. Straws yeah, the, yeah, those. And then two would be the po- any popcorn, like like nice butter, good salt, like that shit's gas, bro. I can eat the whole bowl type shit. That shit, mm-hmm. good. that shit's good. And then number one, uh, Snickers, king size. Yeah, dude. I wasn't okay. expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm a big Snickers guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, for my number three, it's going to be Crunch Bunch. The candy. What the fuck is that? The Crunch A Bunch. No? You making up shit? You know, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Wait, what the? You said Crunch Bunch? Yeah, the Crunch A Bunch. <laughs> Not Crunch Oh, you're munch. a munch? No. That for really okay, we get lighter. it, dude. You like Ice Spice, guy? God, no. Yeah, it's a candy. Here, look, I'll look it up real quick. Uh, but my number two would be uh, a popcorn, and it would be layered uh, butter on it. You dig? And my number one is going to be... Uh, You, you, look like a guy, <laughs> you look like a guy that likes Red Hots. Bro, those are Red Hots? It might be a look. Mm, like hot tamales, you mean? Those are yeah, kind of good, yeah. low-key. I'm going to switch my popcorn to number one, because number one is always popcorn, and my number two would be a hot dog, low-key. <laughs> I won't lie. The movies have usually hey, yo. good hot dogs. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, fuck up. mustard, mustard. No, 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 no. You definitely meant to say that. That that is your secret that you just leaked out. Only on my chili dogs. I put mayo on my chili dogs. I think that's even what? worse than what you said earlier. You don't put mayo on chili oh. dogs? How, no, that's I don't even eat hot dogs. Again, this lawyer, dude. Can we get it, dude? And that, uh, and that boy's a liar. How about you, how about you stick this act? Yeah. Keep with this act. Oh, shit. Yeah, my fuck. number three is Bunch of Crunch. That's what it's called. Bro, I have to look that up. That shit sounds... Cr- bunch of Crunch. Oh. I thought it was like its oh. own thing. A, it it's like crunch. a bunch of crunch. <laughs> the drum noise. The noise. I know you did not just do that. What are your three? My three starting or my my last one is dibs. Mm-hmm. You know the what I'm saying? The hell is that? Dip, like the the ice cream? Yeah. Like, oh, like dip and dots. Yeah. Dip and dots, okay. Good. No, 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 dibs. dibs. Oh, dibs. Dibs. I think it's a... Oh, yeah, those, like oh, those are yep. good as yeah, hell. You like, Honestly, I've yeah. never had that before. Those are pretty so. good. Fire. They're okay. like chocolate, ice cream. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Um, two... Probably popcorn. Fair. And then my one would be a uh, Coke slushy. Mm. That, that's like, my. You like skiing, huh? Yeah, that's my go to, low key. Yeah, those are. Always a slushy and a popcorn. You did. Yeah, that's like, that's really all you need, to be honest. Yeah, all that other stuff is kind of crazy. <laughs> 
when you're a, a platinum yeah. member, like some of oh, us. Oh, well, sorry. Oh, so, well, yeah, we big get, movie like, guy. Yeah, or the presence of greatness. My bad. Right, yeah, you be seeing everything in that movie. <laughs> uh, no, not really. We actually haven't gone in a while. It hasn't been Marvel movies releasing, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I was like, Marvel movies start slowing down. We start building <laughs> yeah. movies. I'm dead. <laughs> DC released a uh, Blue Beetle, but it hasn't caught my attention. Yeah, I feel you. I haven't seen isn't that supposed to be like uh, the counterpart parts to something else? Yeah, I, I haven't seen the movie. I haven't been to the movies in a minute. Yeah, but I need to see Oppenheimer. Same. Yeah. But that will do it for the roundtable. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh, go f- subscribe to PCT if you haven't. Go subscribe to Opinionated Sports if you guys like sports content. We're going crazy over there. So again, it's another roundtable, and we hope to see you guys for the next one. Peace. We love Peace. you. Love you. Love you. Bye.